Scorpios and welcome to Let Ebony Tarot. I will be doing an in-depth reading for December. So we're just going to see the overall energies, what's coming towards you, um, whether that be love, finances, family, like whatever comes up is whatever comes up. The overall energy at the moment, I've already shuffled and cleansed the cards. So the overall energy is transformation, which is a very scorpionic card to me um, because Scorpio in the tarot is the death card, which is about transformation. And we have a yellow butterfly here and yellow butterflies symbolize hope and guidance. Um, to me also yellow symbolizes joy and happiness. So you may be going through a transformative period, um, but whatever's gonna happen in December, it's just gonna change the game okay um but we will get deeper into that so what is coming towards my scorpios for december what's coming towards my scorpios for december what can you tell us what can you tell us thank you wow we've got creation amazing amazing what's coming towards scorpios wow we've got passion Aphrodite, that came up in Libra's reading, Aphrodite in a different deck. So you might be dealing with a Libra or you might have Libra in your chart. What is coming towards my Scorpios for December? Please don't look at my nails, guys. They got smudged when I painted them the other day and they just look terrible. I can't be bothered to take it off. What is coming towards my Scorpios for December? Wow, and we've got inner peace. Amazing, 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 amazing. We've got blooming at the bottom of the deck and we also got don't let the waters one dry. So yes, I personally feel like you may have a transformation when it comes to love and romance, when it comes to creative projects, but whatever it is, it's going to bring you inner peace, okay? But I feel like you're going to be very, very powerful during December, very powerful, but I feel like you're going to end the year feeling quite content, okay? Like, if you look at her as well, she's in the yellow dress. So I do. I feel like if you've been going through the dark night of the soul, especially through Scorpio season, um, I feel like it's going to be very refreshing for you at the end of the year. But something is definitely going to change within your life, whether it's that it's your love life, your creative projects, just the inner love that you have for yourself. But let's just go deeper. So please come by the creation card. This is for my... Scorpios for December. Please clarify the creation. This is for my Scorpios for December. What is coming towards my Scorpios? Just one card, please. One card. What's coming towards my Scorpios? One card. What is coming towards my Scorpios for December? Sorry, guys. There we go. Okay. We've got anger. This came up for Libra too. So you may be dealing with a Libra, most definitely. But when I see this card, I always interpret it as passion, especially being clarified by the ones here. So I do feel like there's a very passionate energy with the word passion as well. So let's see, let's see. Please clarify passion. What's coming towards my Scorpios for December? This is for my Scorpios. Please clarify Aphrodite. For my Scorpios, this is for my Scorpios. Wow, we've got leadership Isis, beautiful, beautiful. And then for the final card for my Scorpios, we've got the mystery. That is very, very Scorpionic energy. We've got partnerships at the bottom of the deck. So, yes, before I go deep and dive into the tarot to give you a more in-depth reading, I would say that you are definitely going to be within your power within this season. You are going to take some sort of leadership role in something. So there may be, like I was saying before, a transformation within your career. Um, if you're working on a project, you might find that you're going to get some really great news about it. Or it's just going to propel you to move forward and it's going to transform your life. Um, and you're going to be blooming. You're going to be looking like a star. But I feel like people are going to be wanting to work with you or collaborate with you. There might also be someone who 
is very attractive to you. It's very attracted to you, but they might feel a bit intimidated by your strength. Um, there could be somebody that you've had an argument with and um, they kind of want to mend things. They want to transform the situation and resurrect, resurrect it with you. Um, you could be coming across quite mysterious to people as well. People could be seeing you looking good, feeling good, and they don't know how you're doing it. You know, you might have went through a time period. You might have cut your hair recently throughout this year. Um, you might have changed your whole look. You might be cutting your hair um, or shaving your head throughout December. But there's going to be something very different about you. It's going to be very alluring. It's going to be very mysterious. You're going to be in your power, exuding strength, exuding passion. I also feel like people are going to be very, very jealous of you. But let's go in deeper, shall we? So what's coming towards my Scorpios for December? What's coming towards my Scorpios for December? We've got the Nine of Wands. Yeah, definitely somebody wants to try and mend things with you. What's going coming towards my Scorpios? We've got the Page of Cups. I told you. And what's coming towards my Scorpios? Yep, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. Told you, good news. This is Cancer, Pisces, um, and Scorpio. Okay, this is water energy. So this could be you or someone else. Take it however it resonates. But I do personally feel that, like I said, I feel like you've had an argument with somebody and they want to come and mend the situation. They've got like their tail between their legs, they're hurt, they're a bit wounded, but they want to come and mend the situation with you because they see you propelling forward. They're very attractive to you. You could be, the fact that you are concentrating on yourself, I feel like is making you very desirable to people. Someone may want to apologize to you about something or someone may want to offer you something. This is communication. The pages are messengers. So you may get communication about a project, about a leadership role. If you are lucky enough to still be in work through these pandemic times, you know, you might be taking control of your own stuff. You might be going into entrepreneurship, something that you're very, very passionate about, but you're going to get some good news, okay? And yes, like I said, you've been working on yourself, transforming yourself, you're focused on your projects, you're focused on your pentacles, okay? And I feel like you're not letting people know exactly what you're doing. And this is making you even more alluring to people, but you're in your inner peace at the moment. But someone is coming towards you with a message, okay? This could be a romantic message or this could be something to do with something creative, a creative project, all right? But because we've got the nine of wands here, I do feel like if this is someone from your past, it could be friend or family, it could be anybody, they want to heal the situation with you. I feel like someone really wants to apologise, but I don't know if you're really going to be accepting of this, because this person is very focused on herself, she's kind of like not really caring, do you know what I mean? But anyway, let's go deeper, please clarify the nine of wands for my Scorpios. Please clarify the nine of wands. This is Scorpio's for December. Yeah, what did I say? Someone wants to heal the situation with you. This is temperance. You could be a Sagittarius um, or have Sagittarius in your chart, should I say. So you could be a Sag watching this reading and be like a Scorpio moon or a Scorpio rising. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, but someone wants to balance out and heal the situation with you, okay? Whoever this is, friend, foe, family, ex, friend, it doesn't matter. You know, you made someone very angry in the past or you became very angry and this person is seeing you kind of move forward and they want to heal the situation with you, most definitely. Please clarify the page of cups. This is for Scorpios in December. Please clarify the page of cups for my Scorps in December. Here we go with the death card. Here we go with the death card. This is your energy, Scorpio. This is definitely your energy. So, yeah, somebody wants to resurrect a situation. I said that. I said that before. Somebody wants to resurrect a situation. But I did say, I don't feel like you're about it. I feel like you're concentrating and you're focused on yourself and on your endeavours. And just know, you continuing to focus on that is going to bring you the abundance that you're looking for. Okay, so whatever it is you're focusing on, whether it be, like, money-wise, whether it be, um, you know, projects, collaborations, partnerships, if you're starting your own business and you're not too worried about it, like you're a bit worried, just know that it will pay off. 
it will pay off and if you feel like you don't want to take this person back or you don't want to sign this contract or you don't want to do any of that you don't have to but i feel like someone wants to apologize for ending a situation with you and they want to resurrect it like most definitely please clarify the eight of pentacles what did i say guys what did i say we've got the knight of wands sag leo or aries so somebody and again if you look at this knight of wands it's going towards the death towards the temperance so somebody it wants to come at you, okay? Somebody wants to come at you, and we've got the sun at the bottom of the deck. You could be definitely dealing with a Leo. So the sun is the overall happiness. So whatever the situation is, with whomever this is, just know that you're going to come out on top, okay? You're going to come out on top. You are Isis. This is you, I feel. You could have ended something. You could be wanting to make up with somebody else. But someone, because the Knight of Wands is fast messages, like fast communication. If this is someone from your past in terms of a romantic sense, or just anyone for that matter, this could have been someone who was very in and out of your life. And they wasn't really focused on you. They wasn't really taking you seriously. And they were a bit of a mystery to you. You didn't know whether he was coming or going. And you had to let this person go for your own inner peace. And now that you have taken control over your life and you're feeling very independent, you're feeling very passionate, you could be feeling very sexy, you could be getting a lot of compliments from people, people could be admiring you, you could be getting a lot of love offers. Um, this person, whoever this is in your life, they're hurting looking at you i kind of feel like for somebody i would suggest i mean it's up to you because this is a prediction for december but hear what this person has to say okay whoever this is if somebody does come at you with a fast message okay because there is a lot of passion here um hear what this person has to say but just know that whatever route you decide to take do what's best for you because you come out on top here you are the angel you you know you're you're, you're you you are i feel like you're the angel and they're the death because they're hurt here they're they're looking at you transforming yourself and i feel like that might be the reason as to why you might find that you're drawing a lot of attention towards people but it's because you are in your own element. Or this could be vice versa. There could be someone that you... Do you know what? Hold on. Let's just, let's just go in on this death card. Let me just clarify the death. But because we've got the sun at the bottom of the deck, you're going to be extremely happy, whatever decision you decide. But I just want to go... Let's just go deeper on the death card. This is for my Scorpios. The Emperor definitely could be dealing with a fire sign or this could be you because emperor the aries emperor rules aries or aries rules emperor and aries also rules mars with scorpio so yeah someone wants to take control of this situation because you are in control you see we've got isis here leadership emperor they both symbolize the same thing but we've got the masculine and the feminine energy here so i feel like someone doesn't want something to end or you could have ended something and decided to become your own boss like i said in the beginning okay maybe somebody didn't believe in what you were doing and now they want to come to you and be like hey they want to take that leap of faith towards you okay let's just go to the knight of wands as well let's just go let's go to the knight of wands let's go to the knight of wands We've got the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Wow. Oh, we've got Justice at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so... I feel like you're going to get some news that's going to be Wish Fulfillment. It's going to be very... Like, your hard work is bringing you something in that's going to be something that you've been asking for, hoping for, wishing for, praying for. Okay? 
Whatever it is you're working on, I'm telling you to continue it. Don't tell too many people what you've got going on as well. Keep some things to yourself, okay? Keep some things to yourself. Let's just go deeper with the temperance card. Yep, three of cups, reconciliation. Somebody, this is again, this is your energy. Somebody wants to reconcile with you. They want to heal a situation. They want to heal a situation with you. Okay? We've got the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. So again, this could have been someone that you walked away from. And the eight of cups walks right into the nine of cups, which is their wish fulfillment. So you keep focusing on you, Scorpios, okay? Keep focusing on you. I did forget to pull some of these cards. So let me just, let's just pull from the Yoni Oracle. And then we will get a message from your angels to see. Okay, okay. Here we go. This is for my Scorpios. Yoni blessing, wow, what did I tell you? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous energy, gorgeous energy. So yeah, you're gonna be getting a blessing this December. Oh, and we got Yoni somewhere at the bottom of the deck. Your career could take a turn for, the, I was gonna say a turn for the best, cause you don't say the turn for the worst, I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All I'm saying is there's going to be blessings coming towards you. Again, someone may want to come and heal a situation from you with you. Could be family, could be cousins, could be, um, you know, a friend or a mother that you're not speaking to. You might make up, you might be around your family for Christmas. Someone might announce that they're pregnant. You know, a lot of, a lot of things could be going on, guys, a lot of things. But I do feel like somebody wants to heal a situation with another person, okay? But if it's not that, Whatever it is, what's coming towards you, I think is amazing. You're going to be celebrating good news about something, okay? So let's just get an angel card for your advice. This is for my Scorpios. This is an angel card for my Scorpios for December. This is December. This is for December for my Scorpios. This is for December for my Scorpios. Oh, dropped on the floor. So interesting. We got no and take a step back. So yes, like I was saying before with the death card, I feel like you might be saying no to somebody. Like someone might want to come and offer you something and you might just be rejecting their offer because you're so focused on yourself. You're not worried about emotions anymore. You don't care if you're coming off desirable to some people. Oh, well, you're working on your wish fulfillment. And I told you, whatever you're going to do, the sun at the bottom of the deck, you keep going, okay? So the answer is no. The answer is no to something or to somebody. You need to take a step back and focus on yourself, okay? You, I feel like you're going to be turning somebody down at Christmas but you yourself are going to be fine. Most defo. And then we're just going to take one card from the... Um, Love Yourself Oracle. So what affirmation will Scorpio need to hear? This is for December. This is for December for Scorpio. I am all that I need. I am enough. I am more than enough. I am all that I need, I am more than enough. So exactly, like I said, focusing on yourself, okay? Working on yourself, okay? Having that inner peace, okay? This is gonna be very transformative for you. You're gonna be blooming, okay? Very sexy, very desired by people. Somebody could be in love with you, but do you know what? You're keeping all of that good, good for yourself. You're, you're your own boss, okay? That's your, that's your focus. Your focus on your blessings, okay? Some people are going to be in their feelings about this. I'm just letting you know. So, yeah, this is your reading for December. Scorpios, I hope it did resonate. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. 
and all the information on anything else about me, myself, my Afro tarot that I'm working on is all in the description box below. And thank you for coming.